Hey guys, in the last video you've seen me preparing some of the Enfield bits for paint. Uh, today, before I let the tank go and the rest of the stuff, I'm just going to do a little job on some covers for the front brackets, the mounting brackets here. So, some of you may have done this before, but some of you may not. So. I'm going to film it and just go through the process of that. Uh, these brackets, when they're when it's uh, bolted to the bar, they're a bit ugly. So I'm going to do some little aluminium covers for them. What I need to do is straighten these brackets out a bit because this was a part of like a great big neck on the tank. It's a terrible looking thing. So what I do is trim that down so it's just got two brackets each side that bolts to the frame. So well guys, a piece of aluminium and these hideous looking things which actually work good. Um, what I'll do is trim the brackets down first to the size of this and the shape of that more or less. And then we'll shape the aluminium around these. Is it aluminium or is it aluminum? <laughs> I bet you all argue about that. So, that's the plan for the first part of the day. What I'll do first is you can probably see that these are curled round a bit, they're, they're very misshaped. Obviously these things get a bit battered over time. So I'm going to take that out, get it flat, so my little cover will sit nice and flush over there. Now what I'll do, I'll just trim them down to that uh, template I've just shown you, the steel one. And then we'll get doing the, uh, the aluminium cover. What I'll do, this line I'm doing on here now, I shall just cut past that. So when we're putting the alley cover across onto there, we're not scraping any of the new paint off. So it will have clearance.
do it. I think uh, I'll just put a wire wheel in the grinder and get a bit of that paint, a bit more of that paint off. They should wear your glasses anyway, but if you use one of these, absolutely make sure you've got your glasses on. Get one of them in the eye and it's all over. Them Just keep an eye on my back here on the camera. I think a bit on that radius there. <clears throat> right, two bits of alloy now, cut them out. <clears throat> right, what I want to do here is we'll just draw around the shape. And then I want to uh, leave enough to hammer the return edge. It doesn't have to be neat because it can all be trimmed when the job's all shaped up because it, it will go out of shape a bit as you're hammering it around the edge of my little bracket there. My little that should be enough I don't go too much because then it starts getting harder to form around that shape if you go too little it won't do what I want it to do and I the uh, the mounting brackets on the tank so that should be enough that's what about it's about 10 12 mil so like that. When the shape is formed round that, I shall then trim the back off so it follows the radius of the tank. But we'll do that after when I've done all the shaping.
they can be trimmed up when I've done the forming. Use this to drag the sharp edges off. Remember to do the other one the opposite way. And yes, I have done that before. Oh, that should do. I think. as you can get it <laughs> right then just bit by bit Just uh, if you have a go at anything like this, just take the time. Just don't try whacking it all over in one big go. Trying to rush because it will go out of shape, it will cripple, and then you're going to struggle to get that out and tidy it up. You can use this idea for anything really, making covers for absolutely anything, not just in alloy, you can do it in steel, because you've got the template to belt it around, you can make all sorts of shapes with like a lip and return on it. It's probably good for making little side panels on bikes and all sorts. doing as well I'm always hitting on this edge you don't want to cripple all that too much with the hammer so sort of bruise it all up try and let it roll and then it should do a nice even radius all the way around Try and work the edge and then all your bruising will dress off.
reason why I've got that scabby bit at the back as well, if not, the, the, the material will try and go that way as well. So that just holds that in place. I've just got one of the lights on. I weren't sure what the light was there. It looked a bit dark. I'll see. We'll get there. Best to slip away, innit? Just a bit of a, a gap there that we need to close in. I don't think that's far off. She looks a bit battered at the minute, but uh, it'll get better. You see, it's taking shape. Look. And any of these little marks from the steel, we'll be able to get that out really easy. It's still a bit bulbous there. I'll try and get that in a bit better. <laughs> it's moving some at the end of the each end of the voice, so well, that's coming loose. Obviously, the voice is trying to do that. is just trim this lip off now and I'm probably getting the voice a bit better yeah we'll do that that ain't too bad actually I think we'll go with that See, keeping the hammer in more towards the edge, it'll save all the bruising going on that face. Although it's aloe, you can dress it out really easy. We should cut down on the work, just makes the job a bit quicker. So, I've only got a little bit of bruising around this edge to dress in. Yeah, I should do it right. Let's get on with the next bit. Right, for the next stage, you'll see I've tacked a little bar to that. Obviously, with shaping it round that, it can lock itself on there. I don't like to lever it off. I don't like to try and get anything in there to try and get it off, because you're probably just going to misshape everything you've done and make a bit of a mess. So, all I'll do, a bit of heat. I don't care if I'll get it to drop up. disappearing on you. It's going. 
to lose two. Yeah, that might, uh, a bit of a might be enough just to get it off easy. that back up again ready for the next one right now to tidy that up when it's cooled down a bit okay I'm gonna set to and dress this up now get it looking all nice and smooth drum sander I'm obviously staying away from the radius I don't want to put any flats in there well, if you do it's just slip it's easy to get out very edges and the radius so just do that by hand shouldn't be no bruises in that so I'll stay away from it with the hammer you might see in this video of the things changing on the uh, quality I'm not sure I am having a mess about with the camera as I go along until I find some of that's uh, much more improved a setting I haven't really got a clue what I'm doing with it but it'll get better Again, there. I just got a tiny little, tiny little mark there. Some of it will come out, so we'll be polishing this. So oh, it's nearly gone.
I'd say some of you may have seen me do this before, but I say we're just filming my day and there will be a few repeats I guess and there will be a lot of new stuff coming up as time goes on. There we go, I think that's about there. I think we'll get that on the mop now and give it a polish. Check the face again. Yeah. It's coming along nicely actually. Right, I'm gonna polish that. Tell a lie, I'm not gonna polish it yet. <laughs> Getting ahead of myself. I'm gonna put that uh, little radius in there so it fits up against the tank. Well, not right up against it because we don't want to scrape any of the paintwork off when the tank is painted. So we'll mark that out and just work at it until it fits nice. As you can see, Oh, well, I think so. That's going to look a little bit better than that. So, I'll do... I should just use the tank as the template. Oh, let's dress that up. gap so I'm gonna scrape any paint off I think that's all right just take any rough off that Got it. I'm just going to blend that edge in there a bit better. bit of a radius on that point. Let's have a look at that. I think that'll do it. I reckon it might look better if that's radiused a bit more. Let's do that. Knock it in with a grinder, I think.
There, that's good. We ain't got that point sticking in the middle of nowhere now. Yeah, I'm doing, we'll mark the hole from the other side. Have some tolerance on the hole anyway. There we go. That's good enough to bang a hole in it. for a polish. That table will get made one day for this. I'll have it all bolted down properly. One day. gives you the idea. We'll try that up against the tank to do a set cloth I'll let it cool down. So there we go it's had a bit of a polish could do a bit more but that gives you the idea. So yeah that ain't too bad now. But uh, it'll certainly look better obviously as well when the tank's painted it'll look better than just that thing there so what I'll do I'll probably put uh, another washer on there before that goes on just to stand it off it a tiny bit keep it away from the fresh paint and get a nice stainless fixing in there so that's about it I think that will definitely do there we go can actually get up to the the painters now 